All right, we'll see where this one takes us. Uh, so, yeah, probably I think the first time hearing my voice on this channel. I did have a tutorial for Knuckle Duster uh, ready to go, but unfortunately the video ended up getting lost. Um, so maybe when I'm in drop video, I'll go do a tutorial of that one again. But first tutorial uh, from this channel and uh, quite an interesting choice to go with. So I, I wanted to do some tutorials for Bodum songs and I also want to do more Bodum songs, uh, you know, as I go along. I also uh, am, am currently in a uh, pay later um, sort of deposit deal for a new 7 string. Um, so you should see hopefully a new Solar V 1.7 FRC uh, V here tomorrow. Or at least when I do an next, another cover video. But it should arrive tomorrow. And I'm fucking stoked as hell for that. But anyways... Uh, Back to more than what the point of this was. This is the tutorial for transference. I'll be honest, I don't understand why people initially at least had a lot of hate for this song. Uh, or at least uh, the people I, I saw around didn't like it uh, as much as the other. And I was like, why? Because this song's pretty fucking cool. It's it's pretty damn strong. Probably one of, one of the strongest on the album, at least for me. Um... Uh, I I have to ask Parallax and see what his uh, um, like ranking of the songs are. Uh, I'll probably try and do more from Halo, but I'll also try and do the song Halo of Blood uh, when I'm in Drop C. Uh, but this is one of the four songs on the album. The others being You're Better Off. No, no You're Better Off. Uh, Your Days Are Numbered. I keep, there's a no it keeps... Uh, there's tabs and whatnot that say like the days are numbers. It's your days are numbered. Um, this uh, all twisted and one bottle and a knee deep. Um, so yeah, uh, I don't know where else to go but to uh, start it. So I try and see if I can do both the rhythm and the leads. Um, now, I'll probably use to try and re-upload the cover of Transference and then mix in the rhythm with the lead or just have a rhythm track on its own. Um, I'll show both parts because there's a couple of interesting things with both sections. Um, so I think I'll start with the rhythm uh, part first. Uh, first off, as I say, it's in D standard, so that's... And also, sorry for the huge amount of feedback on the guitar it's only on the amp it's just started doing it again which has really pissed me off um so it's in d standard so that's a whole step down uh from e standard tuning so that's uh high d a f e So the first part of the song, there's going to be, there's the, uh, the first part that opens the song up, there's going to be a, sorry, give me a moment. Um, it could be uh, Alexi uh, on top, doing the uh, uh, top leads. Um, part of the rhythm doesn't come in until near the end of this little intro section. So the first part of the rhythm opens like Or if you want to you can do the uh higher note so So again so that's back and forth so that's and then try and do the slide as well because for, you know, a little bit of extra detail. Um, I believe it's uh, on the fifth fret on the G and the B. Um, could be. We'll do those. So, 
So use natural harmonics, so just with both of these frets, like the Z, as Alexi said, with one of the mask class lessons, just, you know, kiss it slightly. So just on the edge on the fifth fret, on G and B, um, or F and A at this point, so that's... So that's Dip slowly pull up. So something along those lines. That might not sound perfect with the track, but that's along the lines. But it is on the fifth fret on those two. So. Uh, and then the rhythm underneath the. Uh, Key, the key change harmony, no, the key change riff, so that's... I did it slightly slower, so I'll play one more time in full speed for that. No, sorry, that's... So slow down and get it. So that's uh, a lot of open notes for the first half of it. It's just like variation. So it's uh, like a a one and then a four two four two four two pattern. So that's it. one as I have one open chord uh, and then four and then one two one two three two for that. when it goes back into the next thing, but I'll just um, do another one of so. so that. And then I think the second time round, I kind of I do continuous over notes, so I think that's... So that be so six to that. And then it was a bit hard it was a bit harder to work out exactly what was going on in this next section, what Robert was doing, but um I think uh there might be sort of like an F and G here to so that. <laughs> D and then the fourth on the G. So five, seven, eight, seven, nine, ten, and with four notes in three. So. And then it's harder to work this, but I do like a little slide from the seventh to the eighth fret power chord, and then back to the seventh on the on the G third. twice with I believe it's the same variation again uh, and then both guitars follow this part I believe uh, and that's the you know what would be the main not main uh, the verse riff <laughs> Uh, 
that's the darn suit. The it's working out the timing between the notes, um, but the sort of tempo, I kind of compare it to Chokehold. I can't remember what the, I don't know, like, number wise, I can't figure out what the exact tempo is, like how many beats per minute, but um, this, it is this sort of pattern, so. You know, similar to Chokehold. Right? Uh, and in between, as long as you can get the timing down, uh, the, the timing of that is going to slow it down. So, you know, it's busy time. And uh, I do power chord even with the uh, low E as well, so about E five times. Right? And also you want to, throughout those four notes there, or those main three notes, so you want to palm mute those three, so. Just have them open. And then it'll go around again for a second time, but it will change to. That last note will just go down. To the low, um, I guess it'd be D sharp chord there. Uh, and then get into the chorus, so that's, if I can remember correctly. But I, I think I gather it to be both on the fifth and fourth fret. So. Um, so slow down the chorus there. At least the first two choruses. Uh -huh. ones are uh, so to be the fifth and the uh, harmonics there so you, you know how to do a bench harmonic so that's sort of I just um I kind of angle it slightly there so it's my uh thumb there so it's kind of just sort of, I don't know how to explain it the fun just ever so slightly brushes it gets it first. It also depends on the position uh, of where your thumb is as well when you're doing the harmonics because you can get different sounds. <laughs> Again, so down to that first and second there. And the second time there. Do that, or you can do the seventh fret, uh, 
the second time around pinch harmonics uh, I don't think you do that in the second chorus so the second chorus is literally just the same as both times round um, let's see. Uh, and then one of the small changes but noticeable uh, is during the intro riff again, um, where the last time round, instead of going, I kind of noticed uh, again harmonics there, pinch harmonics, which I kind of worked out. As. Uh, I at least that's how I how I figured it out. Um, however, there are two harmonics uh, there. And the next part is this is going to be a bitch to do. Um, I actually don't remember if there are any. There probably are some harmonies to this bit as well, but um, I'll get the main um, part of this down. Cause this is this is one that I know like he's taught, but this is a bitch to um get down. Um trying to find when he when it is, but I will show you what the rhythm. So yeah, it's that one. So slowed down. That's got the string skip in there. So I'll do a normal speed again. I'll find it out. So slowed down again. That's going from A to G, then A back A to D. So that. Yeah, so that's slide Try and slide midway through that note. time and speed that. Uh, second part of that is most of the same uh, except for one other little chord change but it's basically just up our uh, 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 three, three frets. So, okay. Yeah, 
And then the rhythm throughout the uh, solo is basically just. which both the lead and the chorus do this for people to follow. Well, what I like to do to give it a bit more power at least, at least for me, is I like to sort of far over the um, low E as well. So it gets that kind of thing. Also a variation instead of that. Some of the lower chords, it just makes it sound more, even, well, for me at least more powerful, but, you know, it's, it's, it's still all the work of Alessi Lima, of course it still works. And this is what I sound like instead, so. Choose either way, uh, whichever one you want to do. Um, and then most of the chorus is the same. Well, I know most, the first bit of the chorus is kind of the same. Uh, it, this is where it changes up and gets quite different. So if I can remember it all. And this is, some of this is, I've tried the best I can to figure out. So. <laughs> So, let me try and go through that one more time before you get down. the same just after he gets out of the solo before Alexi goes back into the vocals and during that scream so that's slowed down <laughs> So the last part of it is it's kind of, I say, I've tried to work it out as best I can, but I think that's how it sounds. So, so that would be. Yeah. And then the last part of it is where it gets a little bit more tricky, a bit tricky, a bit. Thank you. 
transferring so these are rhythm section of it uh, in a nutshell um i'll try and look out and see i'll look out for next time if there's any harmonies during the bridge the bitch that is the bridge but yeah oh and i'll quickly show you it's for that bridge i use kind of um i try and do i guess sort of what he does but there's a lot of really precise oh, as i can Oh no, I don't I don't down bit like that or you know use the wrong one. I don't down bit there not straight. At least for me, I you up straight first though, then down it, up, down to skip. So for me at least it makes it a bit easier skipping. Sort of motion. So proper oh and pegging motion. So but yeah, so that's at least if we're rhythm wise that's transference. Uh, I'm trying to see if I can get the lead up soon as well. Uh, I'll probably start that just after this. Um, but if anything, I hope you I hope you learn something out of it as well. So, yeah, see you in the lead. <laughs>